Let's get okay, let's come talk. Sorry. No problem okay, at all. Now you're recording me. No problem. I and have I a didn't right come to. Out here, so excuse no, me. No. Do you have my son's phone? But I when I told you, you I, no, phone. you did. I did not come at you like you that. Did. No, I did not. You did. No, I did you did. Sir, and when I you're did. running after me and following me, believe me, I've been racially profiled so long. Hello. So she says, I'm looking at the location. I want to clarify what that means. So um, I suspect that she was using the find my phone feature to find her son's phone. But guys, I mean, I'm sure most of you know this already, but in case you don't, that feature does not pinpoint the exact location of your phone or your laptop or your iPad or whatever device you're looking for. It gives you like the general vicinity, right? So. That's an important fact to know, especially if you're gonna approach a stranger and accuse them of stealing your son's cell phone. Let's watch the next clip. What will happen when you're wrong? What happens? What do I get, just an apology? Sure. That's not good. No, we're staying here until you give me my phone because it I marks that you're here. I don't have a phone. No. Ma'am, you're nope. really crazy. You're following yep, me now. Now I am. That's cool. Because that, that a sorry is not good yes. enough. A sorry, no. a sorry person isn't well, good enough for me. And now a sorry I am accusing you. You said you were staying here because you have nothing to. You're about accusing me. So let's go ahead and Thank you. Here. So let's get to the next clip. I, I have no other comments. So let's take a look at the next one. That's gonna be. When we were in the parking lot, it was marking him like right there, but I can't. Where's that now? Still marking? They should follow us, right? Yes. If I have the phone, right, she follows the story. She accused me, and it's okay because I have everybody's face that's involved. No, I can't for my safety. Did everybody yeah. I'm involving, I understand. When she racially profiled me, her son found the phone. Her son found it though. It was in the car. Her son found it in the car. So now I'm going to press charges. May I, may I have your name, please? May I have your name, please, ma'am? No. No. Okay, that's okay. I'll get your license plate. Uh, so she didn't apologize and told him to go F himself after it was clear that her son just happened to forget his phone in the vehicle. And this man, this complete stranger who did nothing wrong, obviously didn't steal the phone. I mean, it's just, I, I can't imagine going up to a stranger and accusing them of committing a crime unless I have real evidence, right? There's video footage of them stealing the phone or there's like a full proof piece of evidence showing that this individual did the thing that I'm accusing them of. But this is now the second story we've done of black people being accused of stealing phones that they did not steal. The first story we did was on so-called Soho Karen who accused a black man's son in a hotel lobby of stealing her phone. And then it turns out that she actually left it in an Uber. She was actually later arrested and charged for that incident. There she is, because she assaulted, <laughs> she assaulted them physically. So listen, you're not allowed to go up to random people and tell them, I think you stole my stuff. and. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna let you go into the store. I'm not gonna let you leave. You can't get into your car. You can't leave this hotel. You're not a cop. You have no right to uh, hold them anywhere. And by the way, that was part of what Karen Soho was eventually arrested for, because she was unlawfully detaining that 14 year old kid, right? And just can you use any kind of common sense or decency? For, let's put put aside race for a second, right? Just walk, hey, the phone is somewhere in the parking lot. First, knucklehead, how about your car in the parking lot? It's in the parking lot. Why don't you go check your own car first? God, that's unbelievable that you wouldn't check your own car first, right? And then second of all, it could be anybody in the parking lot. So, but you're gonna go up to a random person in the parking lot that you obviously didn't see do anything wrong and say to them, you're a thief. You're a thief and I'm not gonna let you go anywhere, you so my kid's phone. Now we all know, both with the earlier story and this story, definitively that she obviously didn't see it. She obviously had no evidence because it turns out the kid had left it in the car, right? So, but she just picked a random person and go, "You, that's it." I mean, that's that is super serious. Do not do that. That's insane. But people do it all the time. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, on to race. You think it's random that it was a black guy every time? And right? that he has tattoos and all that. Yeah, like, and yeah. look, I get it, and that's definitely relevant. And and, and and there are other factors involved too, right? But but the, how about the Central Park bird watcher dude? You know, who was 
dressed perfectly appropriate. It doesn't matter how you dress. There is no appropriate or inappropriate, right? But he was dressed in in more professional attire, and he's a bird watcher. And she knew he was a bird watcher, and you know. It, it, cetera. it not it never matters. Hey, uh, who, 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 oh, black guy, you took my phone. Are you insane? Right? <laughs> and so, this is the pervasive racism that is overwhelming in this country. And guys, listen, can I just, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead, finish your point. No, go ahead. Yeah, no, I just want, like, I wanted to say, um, if, if you lose your phone, Right, so usually my phone is on my person, right? Like I have my phone with me, I have it in my purse. And if I lose my phone, that's on me. Like the first thought that comes into my mind isn't someone stole my phone. No, the first thought that comes to my mind is it slipped out of my bag, I misplaced it, I screwed up, I screwed up, sad day. It sucks, phones are really expensive and now I have to deal with it. But I think that these cases, yes, there's the, the racial component to it, which is important to discuss. Um, but the other component is we've like infantilized everyone. Like we, everyone wants, like has this sense of entitlement. Everyone thinks that they can do no wrong. Everyone thinks that everything they do and say is perfect and they never need to apologize. Like that's the culture that I'm seeing everywhere. It's not just with these stories, I'm seeing it everywhere. There's this inability to just stop for a second and do a little bit of self reflection. Is there a possibility that you misplaced your phone? Why is the first thought someone stole my phone? Someone stole my phone, someone stole my phone. Okay, well, where's the last place you put your phone? Mm. How, how did that man steal the phone? Like, And also just think about it for a second. How exactly did this random stranger manage to steal your son's phone? Did he Pickpocket the phone? Yeah, it, it makes no sense. And, and guys, so now we're seeing all these uh, stories because of the videos, right? Uh, but remember, this probably happened millions of times. Oh, you want to say you don't want to say millions? You want to say thousands of times? Pick a number. It happened all the time to black people and other minorities, and you just never saw it. You're just seeing it for the first time. They had to go through their whole lives like this. How do I look? I've seen it because I have black friends. So I told you a story before. Guy walks into a room, there's 12 of us, points at the one black guy in the room and says, I think you stole my watch. I want to rifle through your bags. Why do, you, why do you think the other 11 guys didn't steal it? We all look exactly the same in that we're in the same like socioeconomic class, we're in the same room, we're all friends. Hey, you black guy, you stole my phone, it's ridiculous. And by the way, in that case, of course, that person had lost their phone earlier. And they've gone through this a billion times and it doesn't help when other people in this country go, we don't believe you. If you don't have video evidence of it, and sometimes even when you do have video evidence of it, we don't believe you. So, and by the way, in a part of the video, the, the longer video we didn't show you, uh, when he first goes in back into the store and he's talking to the uh, lady at the store, she immediately thinks, I don't know. This guy's being accused of being a thief, right? And to be fair to her, how does she know? So instantly, he's tarred. Now, everybody around thinks it is a 50 50 chance that this guy's a criminal. Totally. And imagine if they called the cops. And, and imagine if the cops said, hey, uh, let me see your hands. And he was busy getting his cell phone to show him the video coverage. It's just- yeah, I mean, look, and, and once you get accused like that, well, all right, now you're screwed. Now you're a potential criminal. And, and it's happened to black people in this country over and over and over again. You're just seeing it for the first times because of these cell phone videos. And so, by the way, there should be criminal consequences there too. And if you say, well, that's too harsh, she was just wrongly accusing someone of being a thief. Well, one, you're absolutely wrong, and she is breaking the law by by preventing him from leaving, mm -hmm. okay? And number two, the next time you want to randomly accuse a black person or any person of a crime they didn't commit, you should think twice. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.